Young nigga, I turn nothing into something My hand was in that pot, I was tryna make something Oh yeah, these niggas be fake, so I'm watching these niggas Clutching my pistol, tryna slide on me, then I don't go kill him I'm not tryna kick it, niggas be fake Yo, 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 what's good YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy, it's coming at you guys with another video now today we got some 2k20 news and this has kind of been the order that 2k releases their news so i'm not really upset but i'm just not impressed if i could say that but um yeah if y'all don't know before i actually hold on before i actually get into the video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to the channel if you're new um hit those post notice so y'all get notified anytime i stream and upload Today's been a like a long day of like editing and um and like just simply editing and recording videos. So if I don't end up streaming for today, you'll know it's simply because of my editing. Like I had to edit all day, record. So yeah, and the videos took pretty long. If you haven't seen my Allen Iverson gameplay, make sure you check that out. But um yeah, 2K released their soundtrack and they announced that they're gonna have new gear coming to the game now. The soundtrack, it's always exciting to hear the soundtrack in 2K because, like, you're going to hear it for a lot, like, a couple months, basically a year. So, like, you decide right off the bat whether or not you're going to, um, whether you're going to actually listen to it or you're just going to turn it off and, like, just, um, put your own music on or just simply just have it off after a while, which most people end up doing. I know I got my soundtrack off because I got tired of hearing it, but, um, they did also say that they were going to update it. So, I mean, I guess that's good on their part. But then again, like, do we really care that much? Um, looking through the artists, though, I'm, I'm going to go through some of the songs. And then we're going to talk about the gear that they added. So, it's a two-topic video today. We're going to be talking about the songs they added. And we're going to be talking about the gear. So, first off, with the songs, right? Um, I'm looking through the artists, and it's a lot of random artists. I do see Drake in there, which is good. So, they got Drake. They got Post Malone. They got NLE Choppa. Um... And everybody else is looking pretty much random how they usually do. Um, who else do they have? Oh, they got Nipsey Hussle, Meek Mills, Lil Wayne, T-Pain. They got, uh, who else they got? Who else they got? They got J. Cole. Um, who else is there? Yeah, and the rest is pretty much just random. It's not really too much like... And if you guys are thinking it's like the song, like the main songs from like Drake or something like that, it really isn't. It's literally like... um. Like the song with, uh, let's see. Okay, so one of them that's really good is Juice World Hear Me Calling. I like that song. Pretty chill song. Um, Exus and Tashion, they have a song by him named Woe. And I don't, like, I've never heard that song before. So obviously, you know that 2K literally went and got some, like, BS, bruh. You know they went and got some BS with the song. Um, oh, they got Gunna in there too. They got Gunna. Um, Big Shot. It's not even drip too hard. Like, they got some random BS in there. Like I said, guys, the soundtrack is not really much. It's not really too much, like, to pop out at your eyes. I mean, I will leave the link in the description. So, if you guys want to kind of listen to it and kind of get used to it a little bit, that's what I do. Kind of getting into, like, the 2K vibe. Because, like, guys, we're only, like, a couple of weeks from the game coming out. So, yeah, you're going to start hearing the songs anyway. So, I kind of like to get into a little 2K vibe. Um, They got Travis Scott and Offset. Um, They got, uh, what, what was the name of that song? Um, Legacy. So they got Legacy by Travis Scott and Offset. Um, who else? I think I pretty much went through the main songs. The song by Drake is called Sandra's Rose. I probably heard it. Like, if I hear it, I probably know it. But I don't really recall a song by Drake being called. Okay, so it's from his Scorpion album. So, yeah, I definitely know that song. Um, who else? Yeah, the Annalie Choppa song. I heard that song. It's a pretty good song. They got, um, yeah, I think, guys, like I said, the, the soundtrack is nothing too crazy. Um, they do have Nipsey Hustle. Um, grinding on my life, sacrifice, hustle, pay the price. They got a um song from Meek Mill's Championships album, and then that's pretty much it, guys. Everything else is like just random. I pretty much went through all the main artists that you guys would like actually care to hear for. So yeah, that's the um soundtrack. If you guys are gonna uh, listen to the soundtrack at all, or you guys are like interested in it, let me know. I'm gonna leave the link in the description for the soundtrack, and um. Let me know what song you guys like. What's your favorite song on the soundtrack? Because this is like some of the like some of the legitimate news that we got. Other than the overall, we don't know anything about my team. We don't know anything about my park. So we're just gonna take this um news and run with it. So 
yeah i kind of wanted to get to like halfway through this video just talking about all the songs um some of the songs that i like i like the nipsey hustle song i like the juice world song um and the drake song should be good everything else is kind of just gonna be eh, whatever let me know if i'm tripping but um yeah so now we're gonna move on to the to, to the new gear that they added now this is not really it's not really a bad thing i guess you could say it's a plus for 2k because i mean we all do like wearing gear but if you look at my player in this gameplay right here i literally have on a new year shirt and then i have on the free lebrons that came with the um the legend edition from 2k19 and the free shorts that came with the legend edition from 2k19 so i'm not really one of those guys that likes to spend a ton of vc on like virtual clothing when like there's a player you got to upgrade so yeah i'm not one of those guys that really focuses too much on it but the brands that they did add to the game first so first off they added a brand called union second a brand called staple third a brand called spray ground then a brand called just don a brand called Subi, I think it says. Another brand called I'm Not Who Knit. It's a, it's a Paris brand. Um, then they added a brand called Visitor. Then it has like a bunch of numbers on the bottom. Then they added a brand called Rude. A brand called Two Hours Set. A brand called Grungy Gentleman. They added Diamond Supply, which I know that brand. And they added um, Chinatown Market. So. All those new brands guys I mean it's not really it's not really a bad thing for 2k to do like I said that was pretty much the event that they had announced for this weekend it was simply just them like teaming up with those people to announce the brand like they said in case you missed it we announced complex con that new gear is coming to 2k20 so they announced it at complex con I guess they're teaming up with complex complex con I don't know really know too much about it but um yeah just to speak on some of those brands guys um personally like i think they're gonna cost a lot of vc because in the past what 2k has done is anytime they take a, a trend of any sort they make it a lot of vc like for durags if you guys didn't know they added durags into the game durags uh kind of got popular out of nowhere it just kind of got re like extremely popular um i guess you could say shout out to ski mask slump the god or whatever you want to call him ski mask um he was one of the people that kind of like got that trend going with everyone just wearing do rags and stuff like that like everybody's wearing do rags like even if you don't have waves or, or like dreads or like a hairstyle even if you just have like a normal haircut you're just throwing on a do rag for some reason it got really like popular 2k decided to add it to to the game and the do rags cost 20,000 vc 20,000 vc just for a do rag so basically all 2k is really doing right here guys they're just making more money this is just more ads for them to get paid more um and advertise the um clothes in the game um like i said it, it is a plus but then again it's not really the news that we're dying to hear and you guys got to remember like these, this news has to come out you know what i'm saying they're not just gonna sit back and not announce that they're adding new things to the game they have to announce the soundtrack they have to announce the um they have to announce the new things that they're adding like clothes and like a little bit of the irrelevant stuff you could say but um yeah we're gonna complain because the animations have been really bad they haven't given us the parks that we want they just been giving up this they just been giving us the same old neighborhood so we're hoping and praying that they do do us right bro like come out with this park news i know they can drop it earlier oh yeah i said it in one of my videos the reason why they don't really come out with the park news so early they don't want people to form too much of an opinion so early to the point where they don't buy the game so this is a marketing strategy by 2k they keep the anticipation high they keep it high they keep it high and then maybe like a week and a half or like two weeks when the game is about to come out like before the game comes out that's when they'll announce it so like at that point people will kind of like be ready to buy the game so they'll just be like oh it's whatever because for an example guys if they announce it right now that they're not bringing back affiliations and they're not bringing back any of that do you really think like their price their price um ratings or whatever you want to say that's going to drop because a lot of people are going to be like you know what i'm not even going to buy the game since they're not listening to us but that's pretty much it for today's video guys if you guys enjoyed it be sure to like comment subscribe to the channel make sure you guys hit that noti bell um like i said let me know what's your favorite songs from the soundtrack 
Um, the link in the description will be down below. I did mention some of the main ones, but everything else is kind of random. You'll kind of just have to listen to it yourself and see if you like it. And let me know what you guys think about the brands. Um, listen closely to the brands that I said. I'm going to leave a link in the description for those two so you guys can see a picture of it. So if you want to check out the brands yourself, you can. Um, let me know what's your favorite brand. I know the Diamond Supply brand, so I ain't going to lie. I mean, if it's not too expensive... I will cop some of those new brands for 2K20, but yeah, y'all see me, y'all see me carrying my cousins, man. They went one for nine, man. It's all good though. Shout out to them. We gonna be running it up in 2K20, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know your comments down below. Anything related to 2K20, let me know what you guys think, and if you're ready for 2K20, like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit that noti bell. It's your boy Jan Ranks, and I'm out. I got that new drip. Sure to pop out with the pool stick. And then Draco extended 30 and it's sent on my hip. 35,000 for the brand new rolling wrist. Bust out my wrist, I flex like WrestleMania. I just might go take that jet to Australia. Young Draco nigga, know I'm international. Pull up a server paint, know that I'm taxing them. Hop in Bugatti, push it to the maximum. Young Draco nigga, I'm dripping blood.